Hello, welcome to the Freak Show, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time once again to continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers, episode 11. We're in double digits, well, we were in the last episode, we are again in this episode, and we will be for, well, the next, what, 90 or so, 89, something like that, it's totally fine. Totally fine. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. I think we're going to murder ourselves some ambushers. Also, before we do that, the developers have told me that they have fixed my problem that I had in episode 8. Now, I recorded up to 10 in one chunk, and this is a new day and a new recording. So, yeah. So, you're going to see a couple episodes where I'm not going to mention that, but pretty much overnight they fixed the, uh, the issue with the tagging and untagging manual repair bug thing that I found. And, like I said, guys, the devs are really, really good about squashing all them little buggies that you find, and they're definitely gearing up for, well, for a really, really, really big release on December the 24th. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. April 27th, guys. April 27th. All right. So we're all set. I think everybody is fully equipped and fully outfitted. Outfitted. -ed -ed -ed. Outfitted. -ed 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 -ed. I believe so. Nobody has any kind of a damaged armor. Which is sweet, sweet, nice. And all of our front liners are decked out with at least a gambeson or 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 better. Uh, unfortunately, I'll say Pathkeeper, kind of a front liner. He's the only one who's not. And Kippy Kips is kind of a medium liner, so he doesn't really count either. But I would like both of them to actually get a little bit more armor as well. Either way, folks, it is the time of day is noon. Oh, they changed this as well. And there's no way I'm on day 356. Unless I fell asleep and let the game run for like 7 hours or something. I don't know what's up with the time and date, but I'm going to say that's completely wrong at this point. We are not on day 356, and if the game thinks we are, I'm really scared as to what we're about to fight here. But we're go- Oh! Oh, they added new stuff again! Oh, I love these guys. Alright, so there's only a few bandit thugs, which I assume is going to be like two or three. And then there's some bandit raiders, which is going to be probably a few more than a few, so maybe four or five, I don't know. I have no idea what these numbers mean, or these words mean, as far as numbers yet, but we're about to find out. Let's hop in there and get after it. So I wonder if your, uh, your Battle Brothers are ever going to age, and then like they'll be like, I remember back in the day when Deckard Kane was our leader. We would sit around and he would say, stay a while and listen. I think that'd be pretty cool, but no, I don't think they're actually going to age. I don't believe they are going to age. Okay, how are we going to... Ooh, he's got a bill hook. Look at him. Look at him like a little boss. Wee, we're way up here. All right, sorry, guys. Um, I'm having a little bit of too much fun. This is Battle Brothers, though. You have to have fun, folks. You have to have fun. All right. So I guess these are all padded surcoats on these two. These are linen. This is a sackcloth, and this guy's got padded leather. If I had to guess, and only two really good helmets and the bill hook, which will sell for a decent amount. I kind of want to stay in this area and fight them and like tunnel them in, but at the same time, I like to use all of my battle bros, my battle bros, my battle bros, my battle brothers. I like to have them all there and ready to go, so we're going to fall back and let that be a reality. Oh, that's right, and this guy's a spearman now, right? He is. Okay. Kaladin the Stormblessed. Alright, so I guess we're going to go here. This is going to be the... Is that, is that a good low point? Yeah. That's going to be the low point of the squad right there, folks. And we'll see what the old raiders liked to do. Well, apparently nothing. He just waited his turn. I guess he didn't want to jump around the tree. I don't know what he's doing. Whatever. I've totally accepted it and moved on. I feel... Wow, they're actually waiting their turn. Hmm. I'm a little confused by this tactic. Maybe they've upped the strategy level of the enemies. No! My perfect plans are ruined! Also, I'm not sure why my people deployed in a different pattern. Usually all my spearmen are up top. Now they're all low. Is there any rhyme or reason left in the world? I don't know. I don't think so. Alright, Tack. Get your booty back there. And prepare thyself. I should probably move this guy up now that I think about it. Ah, eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah, it looks like my guys have swapped, like, lines or something. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, like, the heavily armored dude was at the bottom, and now he's at the top, and this guy was at the top, and now he's at the bottom. It's like my entire formation is flip-flopped. It's a bit weird. It is a bit odd. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whether or not I like it or not. I don't think so, but we'll see. 
Okay, I'm going to move there. And by there, I mean not actually make the move there. Additionally, I'm probably going to move here, and then I'm going to... I don't know, we'll see if we swap over. That's fine. It's totally fine. And Paulson the dev, back up, buddy. Ooh, look at him doing a little double move. He thought about getting some action there, but he's like, you know what, maybe that dude with the giant two-handed axe, maybe we shouldn't upset him. He looks like he might actually cut my head in half. Probably a good idea, buddy. Probably a good idea. All right, we're going to move there. Yeah. Kaladin the, the is it Stormblessed? Yeah, the Stormblessed is going to chill there like, what? All right, we're going to get Yo Yoachim, no, Yoachim, or Yoachim. I'm going to go with Yoachim Martier. We're going to go there. People apparently don't like me going Joachim. I like it. I think it sounds better, but that's just me. That's not how you enunciate it, though. I knew that. I knew it, but I don't want to upset people because of my enunciations being wrong. So I will bow to the grammar Nazis because I usually am the end-all, be-all grammar Nazi of, I don't know, Canada, I guess. Ooh, I can shoot him, maybe. Yeah, look at that. All right, we might even be able to reload and shoot again. I'm pretty excited by that prospect. I should have waited, though, until they got closer. Maybe I would have gotten a better shot off. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right, they're moving in. They're moving out. They're moving on. And it looks like we'll be able to skip most of our turns at this point. Probably could hit a few of these folks, but meh. All right, yeah, Spearman, or Bill Hookman, I guess, if you want to go that route. All right, we're going to go here. And in the next turn for him, we'll start throwing out our spear wall. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking a little too... Oh, that's so unfortunate-ish. Yep. All right. I don't really want to... Yeah, whatever. We'll just fire <laughs> randomly at anybody we can. It's going to be fine. 53%? Yeah, doing work. 38%? Not too, too bad. Oh, you're in a... Oh, so you're in a real bad place, though, buddy. And are we lucky? Yeah, yeah we are. Get handled. All right, sweet. So that worked out pretty good. I think we're going to probably go over the top with this guy. So we'll get... um. We'll get Darren and the Grimblade ready to come smurder, to come murder some fools, or smurder some duels, I don't know, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's a thing. 33% chance? Yeah! Alright, we have this guy, he's, he, look how happy he is, he's just grinning, he's like, yeah, I'm in combat, I get to kill some people. He is really excited to be there, he's got his mace and his big shield, he's like, yep, yep, this is happening right now. All right, well, we're going to end your turn, and yeah, I'll end your turn, too. All right. Oh, not again. One shot, two shot, red shot, blue shot? No. Well, a little too eager on the, uh, on getting the crossbow bolt shot out there, unfortunately. It looks like we are not going to be fortunate enough to... Be able to utilize that. We'll come over here. This guy's got a club. I don't really fear him super, super, super bad. Uh, let's see. This guy's probably easier to kill. 52. They both have 52. Oh. Yep, he was much easier to kill. I don't know. They probably were both pretty easy to kill. I don't know for sure. Oh, he's not going to make a move, huh? Okay. Well, I think it's time for us to get in here and start stabbing fools. And... I can do a point blank shot too, that is true. 49, 43, 20. Let's go with the 49, I like that. We missed it. It's okay, because now we're going to go into our inventory and be like, What's up? Yeah, we weren't crossbowmen. What were you thinking? I didn't see a crossbow ever. Yeah. Felt pretty good, didn't it? That's going to work out really well, I think. Like, that is going to be fantastic. Oh, big plays. And by big plays, I mean very, very good miss. Hiya! Oh, that's not a good miss, though. That is not a good miss at all. All right, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna knock you upside nothing. It's good. I'm actually concerned now with this guy down here, like really pretty, pretty concerned because um, he's gonna hurt a lot, and not all of our people are super tanky. So that's kind of a problem, especially if he gets to move rather rapidly. 
25%? Okay, we hit him at least. We got through his armor. I think we'll be able to kill him before he does anything super detrimental to us, though I'm not certain of this. Come on. Alright, we're going to end our turn. We're going to have to move down. And you're going to end your turn as well. He retreated. Your turn is over. Your turn is over. Your turn is over. And, yep, your turn is over as well. All right, head split in action. Here we go. <laughs> He's super dead. Oh, no. Oh, scary. Anyone after the guy with the lightest armor on, too. Super, super scary. Yeah, not scary anymore, though. Okay, so that happened. And unfortunately, we do not have a shot, but we're going to go for it with Twiggy MC. Get oh. wrecked! What? Get handled. All right, so we just completely crushed them. Did we get any damage done to anyone? I don't... I see zeros across the board here. So no, it doesn't look like anybody took any damage. It looks like we have four level ups as well, which is sweet, sweet, nice. Uh, unfortunately, Paulson didn't land a single shot. Kippy Kip's doing big, big, big time work with his bill hook. And we should have some pretty good loot from this as well. We got another padded surcoat, and we got another woven tunic. And a new hat, too. Nice. Okay, I like this. We got another mace, which is going to be pretty good. And the bill hook. If we can repair those up, we should be able to get some pretty significant cash monies. Actually, we got two decent hats. Very cool. Alright, so let's go get that over there, and we will leave. And we will... It's still paused. Excellent. We don't have to pause the game or anything. And, yeah, I suppose we'll do the level ups now. Why not? Alright, melee skill. Plus four, and defense, and... I think I'm still going to go with health on you, buddy. Again, you don't have a shield. I'd like you to have, like, around 70 at least. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable with that. Alright, you get to come down here, and... Let's see here. Rawr! Upon killing an enemy, four action points are immediately regained. I actually think that is the play when you have a two-handed weapon. But we'll look at all of these real quick. Go for the head, gain a plus 10% chance to hit the head, which is critical. For critical damage each time, which I guess I said and I didn't have to reiterate it, but it's fine. Each time you hit the body, ooh, bonus is reset upon hitting the head. So basically, what that means is every time you hit, if you do not hit the head, you get a 10% increased chance to hit, or critically hit, on your next attack, on your next attack, on your next attack, until you finally hit the head, if I'm not mistaken. That says each time you hit the body, so that means it goes up by 10% each time you hit the body until you finally crit, and then it goes back down to zero. So that's a pretty, pretty substantial thing as well. But the whole problem, that not being a useful skill for our axe wielder here, is the fact that with split man you hit both the head and the body. So if you hit, you're already hitting the head. So that would be a pretty big waste for this guy. Now for the swordsman, it wouldn't be. So let's take a look here. Put your full weight into every blow and gain 10% of your current body armor as additional maximum damage when attacking with melee weapons. That's pretty significant too because they are going to be the heavier armored individuals on our side. So that might be even better. This is pretty good too though. Additionally, Debilitate unlocks the Debilitate skill, which can cripple a target in melee for one turn, amplifying all damage against it by 30% of this character's melee skill. That's pretty substantial, too. I'm like, there's a lot of really good skills, and these are both Archer things that we don't need to do. So there's three right now that are fantastic for us. I think what I'm going to go with is still the Berserk. That sounds more like Paulson anyway. He just runs in and kills people. I'm all about that. That's totally fine. Let's see what Kippy Kips has to offer. Oh, Kipster! You leveled up to five as well, friend. Good job. Let's get you some more melee skill. You're pretty far behind Paulson, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't judge. Your melee defense is significantly better, though. And your HP, eh, a little weak, but again, you're not frontline. You're not frontline. We're going to go with a little bit more health. We're going to get you at least to 60 before we taper it off and go to something else. I think your... Ooh, that's going to be pretty big, too. He kills a lot of people as well. Being able to attack again... Hmm. That's a tough call. I think I'm going to skip that one for right now, and... I think Debilitate is within... 
melee range, so I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to go with this one. And we're going to have to get him some better body armor. I think that's going to be the play. I think that's the play that we need to make. All right. Demagogly the Blind. Let's see. Oh, you hit level 5. Very nice. Let's see if we can't get you up out of the blind status. There we go. Ooh, plus 5 to your skill that time. Not bad. Not bad at all. And... You have 63 health. Uh, you don't really need anything. I mean, we could just go with Resolve, I suppose. Eh, we'll go with hit points. We'll get you a little bit higher. Why not? There you go. 68. You're starting, to, you're starting to come together, man. You're starting to get there. All right, we're going to go with the hit chance penalty when things are blocked. I think you'll actually catch up with our other folks. And Sir Hercules, welcome to level 2. Welcome to level 2. Let's get you some more melee skill going. Plus 4, not bad. Melee defense, didn't want to take. There we go. Plus 3, and definitely going to give you some more health just because. Ooh, pretty bad health gain, though. Yeah. It is what it is, and for your first ability, we're going to give you... Hmm... I think I'm going to give you Fast Adaptation, and then I'm going to give you the Crusher, and then I'm going to give you the Executioner. I want to make sure you can land attacks and get some kills, so there we go. Alright, so everyone is leveled up, let's go back to our stash, and let's get all this stuff up for selling. I think I'm going to get rid of the padded circuit. Nah, I'll just do it all. I think we're at the point now where it's almost worth it to get everything. I'm not going to do the... Yeah. Eh, it's fine. We're just going to do it all. There's no reason not to. Alright, uh, hats. Hats, 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 hats. We have a few people that still need good hats. So, Kippy Kips. You are going to get the slightly weaker hat. The nasal helmet, which is fine. And we're going to go with the padded nasal helmet going on... Pathkeeper, and again, there's nothing against you, but you're a, midi a medium line or a middle line guy, so putting it on people that have to go into melee range it does seem like a slightly smarter and safer option, so that's what we're going to go with. Alright, now we're going toward Menarkin, that is our current goal, so let's continue on with that goal. We have a decent supply of money still, not, not a tremendous amount, but we're about to get more. And I'm super excited to sell the stuff that we just got and get some more. Looks like our tools are ticking down, it's not going to be too bad, and we actually have a pretty good supply. We're going to definitely continue to buy those out as we find them, and make good use of them. And likewise, we're going to have to start upgrading some people's armor, because, well, we need them to be a little bit more beefy, a little bit more beefcake-ish. Is that a word? Beefcake-ish? I don't know. Should be a word if it's not. Either way, we are on our path to Menarkin, and then once we're there... We shall get our 240 crowns. And there's another mission to... Yeah, we'll do that. Opened Mass Grave. That doesn't sound undeady at all. Ooh, 2,100 coins. Hmm. I wonder if we can do that or not. That makes me very, very, very nervous. Um, I think we're going to try it. Let's see, where's this one at? Some way north from where we stand. I'm going to accept it, but I, I don't know. Maybe we're, we'll go take a look, and now that they've added the thing that tells us how many guys we're going to go up against, I think maybe we'll actually have a better indication as to whether or not we should actually do that. These are all pretty pretty cheap right now, so we're going to get a few more of those. That was quite expensive on our part, but we can sell this, this, this. Eh, I prefer to have the green shield. I know, I know. I'm such a girl, right? I'm such a girl. It's fine. Alright, the club was definitely not worth the price of the, the tool. So, future reference. Wooden sticks, we're not going to repair. The hatchet might have been worth it. Maybe not. The flail, I don't think we need another one yet. We don't need that. Alright, that's okay. I can roll with that. We ended up quite quite a bit better off than we were before. We'll leave the shop and we'll leave the area. We'll pause and see. It's up there. Ooh, it says deadly. Oh no, I don't think we can handle that. Deadly seems like that might be, well, a little bit deadly. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna drop the, the thing. I think I'm gonna have to drop it. Sorry. I have to break the contract. That's a bit too much. Maybe maybe in the future we'll come back to it, but uh, there's no way I'm going to go up against a deadly one. Yeah, 2,100 coins seem like a pretty good deal, but, I mean, what was it going to be against? To me, it sounded like undead, but if it's deadly undead, I don't know. 
I don't know, I'd have to say count me out probably. Alright, where are we heading? We're gonna head to the castle? Sure. We'll take a look over there, see if there's any uh, contracts for us to have on the castle side of things. In addition to that, we'll move on and hopefully be able to buy up another piece of armor or equipment that's gonna be relatively expensive. And if we are able to do such a thing, I will be pretty happy. Okay, what do you have? Reach the city of Dornan. Eh, I know, not the most exciting uh, missions right now, guys. But we gotta take what we can get. There's another crossbow here. I'd like to get that, but that kind of got me into trouble. Ooh, scale armor. That sounds super exciting. And coat of scale sounds even more exciting. Basic male shirt is quite a bit less expensive. What are we looking at? We got some tools here. I'm gonna buy one of those up. Super expensive, but we'll buy one. Ooh, what's this? A noble sword. And a, a, a military cleaver. I want to say a militia cleaver, but that is totally not what that is. And another really good spear. We could finish out our spear individuals. I don't think all three of them have the boar spear yet. Well, knowing how, quote-unquote, easy it is to get money, why don't we buy that up? And that should still leave us enough to get around and do what we need to do. So, we're going to go with that. We're going to go here to our roster. And we are going to... Increase the armor on Paulson. Now, he's looking pretty amazing. Sir Hercules is still a little bit stronger with a male... Well, he's got a male shirt, so does he. Oh, this is a basic male shirt as opposed to a regular male shirt. Because there's clearly different variances of male shirts at this point. Uh, Kippy Kips, I'm considering giving you the padded leather. Because you have that ability that increases the damage or whatever it is. I forgot what it's called now. Um, full force increases the damage of every blow by 10% Yeah, of the armor you're actually wearing. So I'm kind of leaning toward doing that. I know I shouldn't. No, I can't do that. That's that's not right. Sorry, Kippy Gibbs. You're going to have to stay with your padded circa. we got to get you at least armored out with something else. All right. Um, you've got decent armor. Shockness Monster. You're going to get the upgrade. He's got the kite shield, so he's not getting the upgrade. You get this, and the padded circa is going to get sold. Go to where I tell you to go. And you don't have the boar spear yet, so you get a, a boar spear now. And all three of our guys are decked out with the boar spears at this point. So yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the top of the line spears they can have right now. So we'll take it, I guess. Let's go here, sell that. We'll sell that up, and a little bit of money that should last us at least two days, just barely though, like literally just two days, and then we're broke as can be. Okay, well we're gonna head back to Dornan, and along the way. I kind of want to go the long way around, but meh, we'll go the short way. And we should at some point go up and deal with the Hermit's Cottage. I totally forgot about that place. So perhaps we'll go to Dorn and get a little bit of cash monies and then go deal with the Hermit Cottage. If at all possible. I thought that was us. Awkward. And then, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we can get another mission from Dorn and to actually go kill something that's not deadly to us. But we'll see, we'll see. We shall be on our merry way. We're going to follow the patrol around, make sure they don't get into trouble, you know, because they're, you know, they're a patrol. They're weak. I bet they have a lot better armed guys than we do. They're a castle patrol. I mean, it's got to count for something, right? Oop, I didn't really want to go to the town, but okay. So we'll have 144 monies left in just a bit. And I believe as our battle brothers level up, they also increase in um, cost. Yes, they do, actually, quite a bit. Because everybody was single digits except like two people, and then this guy was kind of the big purchase. Now everybody's in double digits. So as they continue to level up, they are actually worth more and more to the uh, squad, apparently. Oh, hey, look, the day-night cycle fixed. I, did, I didn't even look at that after it originally bugged out when I loaded. Cool. Okay. Well, that's much better than day 365 or 52 or whatever it was at the beginning. And oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, we're being attacked. We have to defend ourselves. Well, that's unfortunate. Probably more so for the attackers, but again, I don't know. This this gets risky because we 
we're not able to form up a line because we could be surrounded at this point. So this becomes kind of a, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more risky. But this is something that definitely happens. I don't think the bandit ambushers really thought about who they were attacking right now because this does not seem like a very smart idea. Just looking at what they're coming at us with right now, I'd say that this is probably a huge mistake on their part. That's my thought. And there's up, there's nine of them, so maybe not. Maybe there's going to be archers coming out and shooting us, which could cause us significant problems, but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, there is an archer right there. So, see, that's already bad. Hmm, how are we going to deal with the archer? Like, I'm tempted just to go there and then cut the archer down next. We'll see. I think I'm going to try that. And apparently there's people honking outside the, the window again, folks. Which is closed this time, so it's not like I have it open. I've had it open in the past, but right now, it's closed. Oh, we're missing. Aha! There's an enemy over there. They still seem pretty weak. These seems like these seem like thugs and, and a couple marksmen, maybe. I'm hoping only one. Ooh! Okay, we just got clubs, so no double chop next time. That's unfortunate. That really makes me un unhappy. Alright, if he doesn't run, he's going to have a problem. Oh, this guy's somewhat armored. I mean, I suppose. Alright, I'm just going to go and use my shield wall right now, I suppose. We'll end the turn. We're going to try to play it safe. We'll see, though. This guy should be pretty easy to murder. I mean, short of, like, a miracle, these guys should be fine just to just completely crush the enemy. I don't know. There is another archer down there, which is never fun. Twiggy MC, buddy, come on. Come on, man. You gots to land these things. Okay, and we can land it on the marksman, but we met Man, our archers are just, like, panicked right now. They're like, I'm panicking! Apparently everybody's panicking. What is going on, guys? Come on, you haven't, like, landed a single attack. This is a bit depressing. Actually, for lack of a better term, what the heck were you shooting at? Well, at least their archers are as blind as ours are. Ours are? Ours are! Ours are! It's totally fine. Alright, let's go and kill you, and you're dead. Our archers got their confidence back. It's how Stella got her groove back, too, by the way, guys, in case you were wondering. Yeah, I just made that reference. Not sure what that actually means, though. Is that bad? I think that's bad, that I don't know what that means. Maybe not. Oh! Oh, Kippy Kips! Maybe I should have given you the armor. Make him pay. Oh my gosh, what is up with the high miss chance now? Alright, let's get a little closer. Let's do some murder. Oh, we missed again. That's unfortunate. Meh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And I think we can chop this, chop him in half. Yeah. Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Oh, I love that perk. It's so good. That perk is so amazing. Oh, sorry. Um, yep. Gonna keep killing fools. Fortunately, I won't be able to murder anybody here. And... Huh. Well, I suppose we can start running down some people here. Hmm. Okay, a little bit of smacky smack. No, no bueno for uh, our boy this time, though. It's gonna be pretty bad for him when um, <laughs> he's not stunned this time. So it's really bad. We're gonna be able to murder this guy. He's overwhelmed as is. This guy should be pretty toast right now, but maybe not. I actually think moving there might have been a mis a mistake. Okay, okay. Not the best archers. Please don't hit Kibby Gibbs. Oh, good. Oh, so scared. So scared. All right. Well, we're going to continue to chase this guy down. I don't know if we'll actually catch him anytime soon, but <gasps> Kibby Gibbs is making up for the mistakes from his past there. I will definitely take that. And... Fortunately, we're still going to have to run some fools down. I think 57% is pretty good <gasps> and very good, in fact. Yeah, that guy, <laughs> he definitely didn't stand a chance. Okay. Well, as much as I'd like to chase that guy down, I think I'm going to come over here and provide some support to our boy. 
And we're going to go try to cut this guy off soon as well. And our Axeman is going to go down here. Good old Sir Hercules. I don't know. Has he killed anyone yet? I think he's still looking for that first kill. I think he's still searching for that first kill. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. We'll see, though. We'll see. All right. You get stabbed, and you survive somehow magically. Ooh, repost and an attack. Impressive, impressive. All right, we should be able to pin this guy in pretty easily. Very good, Paulson. Very well done. Uh, we'll end our turn with you and with you. I'm starting to... Oh, they did! Oh, I love the devs. Oh, I love the devs so much right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Sorry. All right, I didn't even notice this. I was wondering. I'm like, I could have sworn I've ended the turn several times on people. And I'm just completely boneheaded right now, and I, I can't believe I didn't look, but... Okay, guys, I'm sorry why I screamed in, like, a, like a little giddy girl there, but... The developers did exactly what I said, and the wait button is now spacebar. It's spacebar. I don't have to click this button anymore. It's spacebar. I can just click it. They moved end turn to enter, but what they also did was when you get to the... Like, watch, we're going to wait with this guy. Okay? I hit spacebar there. We waited with him. And, oh, it's going to be so good. I'm excited. I'm super excited. So basically when the turn ends, when we go all the way full circle, this is something I actually I suggested to them back when I had a, an advanced build of the battle demo. And I think they just implemented it and I'm super stoked to see it. Like it it's a 100% better for me. This is my own personal style of playing, so I'm sure not everyone's going to agree with it, but this to me is the way it should be done. And oh, so happy. I'll I'll show you guys what's going on in a second when we get back to that archer down there. Well, these, this guy's definitely making it a challenge to, to, to pin him in and chase him down. He does not want to be trapped, but I think he might have already trapped himself. Alright, Captain Odie, you get to move. And we finally get to go with you. 70% chance to... Oh, we missed. That's unfortunate. It's okay, though. It's okay, and you can't quite close with him, but boy, oh boy, are you close. Okay, I guess we're going to start going after these guys. The archers are going to be fleeing for their lives. Alright, so it is now the end of the turn, right? Yep. So if we hit spacebar again, I think it's going to end the turn. I'm not sure though. Let's see. It does. It automatically will end the turn. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I still kind of wish end turn was on E, but enter is still good. It's. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, developers. Thank you. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I like to see with developers. Not just because it was my idea or anything else. I'm sure many other people have suggested it as well. But the fact that suggestions are being taken into account and the developers are implementing things that people are asking for. It's really good. And the fact that they, they pretty much squash bugs immediately every single time they find one is a really, really good thing too. So... I'm super excited to see all this stuff. I love this game, guys. I absolutely love this game. Like, this to me, I've said it before, like, I've really been anticipating this game. Like, this is beyond what I was anticipating. That's how good this game is, in my opinion. So I am super happy to play it. I'm super happy to bring it to you all today and pretty much every day, guys. And I'm really happy. I mean, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from different people. I'm getting a lot of new subscribers coming in off of the Battle Brothers LP. So welcome to everybody who's joining the channel off of this LP. I will definitely be doing a lot of coverage of this. That's something I'm very, very excited to cover. And, well, I again, I think it deserves a lot of coverage. I'm sure a lot of people haven't heard of this game yet. And, well, keep it here if you guys want to see more coverage. That's all I can say. That is all I can say. Either way, Gray Beardy Man over here is going to be dead eventually. It's taken us a while, but we're slowly... Well, we're not really catching him, are we? We'll eventually corner him, I guess, is the, uh, the best way we can say it. And maybe we cut that off? Yeah! Boom! Get decapitated. Ah, oh, that felt good. That felt good. And then check it out, look. We we just did that, right? So that was, um... Is it 6? It's 6 AP to do that. So we have 9 AP. We used 6 of them, which brought us down to... What is that? 4... Uh, I'm sorry, my brain's not working. 3. 3 AP. And we just got four back, so technically, if we killed that and there was another guy next to us, we could kill him too, and then get more, and keep going and going and going and going. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good skill. Oh, I, I even like the talents they picked too. Ah, it's good stuff. It's compelling and rich. Alright. 
And these are the guys that had a little bit of movement left, and we get to wait it out with them. Well, that explains why I felt like I was going insane. I'm like, I swear I've hit spacebar. Why am I still having to wait at the end of the turn? Or, Huh. Well, that was an interesting little move. I guess he's given up. He's given up hope. He's like, there's no hope. It's all over, man. It's all over. We are going to wait with you now. And we are going to have Tack murder your face. See, look, right there. Your face has been a little bit murdered. And now the rest of you? <gasps> we missed. It's, it's shameful. It is shameful. But it's okay. Alrighty. Let's get a little bit closer. We'll wait our turn. I suppose we can't really do anything. It's okay. Should have just ended the turn there. Um... How far can... Ooh, we can move all the way to there. Yes, please. Oh, this is so good. So good. All right. Well, I, I think I've told you guys, the developers are definitely on point. As soon as I mention uh, any kind of problem that I'm having, within hours they fix it. And then they update the game. And they're, they're very, very grateful to anyone who will actually give them a heads up of things that are going wrong. So if you guys get the game when it comes out in early access on the 27th, make sure you go and you hit it up, you, you know, you hit up the developers with any of the problems that are that you're experiencing. Not stuff like, "Oh, well, you know, this guy managed to crit me and I die." You, you know, the the real problems with the game, like the few things that you've seen come up with me. Those are kind of substantial issues that again, I mean, there most of them weren't game breaking, but you know, you want to flush all that stuff out so it's as good of a product as it can be. And the developers are super excited to actually fix anything that they might have missed. So, yep. I'll stop stop sucking up to the developers, guys. I'm just... This is kind of a slow part of the uh, battle, and I'm just kind of rambling on about it. But we shall continue to do battle, and we'll chase down some enemies and eventually kill them. I think the murder-death killing is about to ensue on both ends of the spectrum here. Okay, he's going to swing and miss. Swing and miss a second time. It looks like Tack is going to be able to get moving soon. Man, low ground advantage really, or low ground disadvantage really suck. How is it that we don't have a line of sight? Of, you can't see over that bush. Is that is that the thing? Is that what we're, we're dealing with now? That is just a really, really, really powerful bush, apparently. All right, and boom, get handled you. Mm -hmm. All right, we're now up here with you. Pretty much just going to end turn with everybody here. We will use the enter key for it is... I don't know. For it was written on a scroll. Now, probably not written on a scroll, but it could have been. It may have been. Alright, Tack, do you have the power? You have a little bit of power and the finishing power to the kill blow. Is it here? Is it ready? Nope, but you certainly hurt him pretty badly. And we can appreciate that. We can definitely appreciate that. I think Sir Hercules still managed to miss out on his kill. I don't think he's gotten one yet. It's okay. So, okay, we're going to go here, and pew, and we missed. That's unfortunate. All right. And that is that, folks. Now all we have to do is get up to somebody who's actually near the enemy. And can attack, and here it is. Darren says, never mind, I was just standing here, guys. It's fine. I just, you know, I wanted to scare him. I wanted him to be aware that I could have killed him if I wanted to, but I was just playing. <coughs> there it is. There it is, there it is. I'm seeing no damage except a little bit of armor damage on Kippy Kips. And a little bit on Loch Ness. Sorry, uh, Shock Ness Monster, the Loch Ness is bro. And a little bit on Darren. Uh, not too bad overall, not too bad. And Kippy Kips with 237. After several misses, he made up for it once again, being the top damage dealer in the game. I like it, I like it a lot. And eh, we're gonna get rid of that. We're probably going to hold on to that. Well, if we think about it, let's think about it. We get 25. We get 25 tools at about, what, 100 and, uh, like 75 to 150, somewhere in that range. So I think even repairing the wood... I won't repair the wooden stick, but pretty much everything else is probably worth repairing. So we're going to remember to do that. We're going to remember to do that. Okay, well, we've left. Um... I tried to back away from that, and I think we're out of time. Yeah, this one went pretty long. I, I kind of got excited and into the game. I wasn't even really looking at the time. So, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as well. 
and I will see you guys in just a bit for the next episode of Battle Brothers. It'll be episode 12. It'll be sweet, sweet, nice. I don't know. I might always do double, double episodes of this. I have no idea. I'll probably do it on release date too, double episode. I might even do all Battle Brothers for the 27th. Just so it kind of gets a big bump and people are like, yeah. And I, you notice what I did there, huh? A big bump? Bumpy? Big? No? Okay. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for stopping by the free show. I'll see you next time with more Battle Brothers. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.